Did you know that some of your products may not be legit? So you could be having these products underneath your cabinets, in your closets, that could be in there up to no good. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel where I share my personal hair journey and tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you with your own. We are talking about product diversion. And I put a poll on my Instagram and I was like, do you guys know what this is? Product diversion? Because it had been brought to my attention in one of my recent videos in the comment section that I don't think people really fully understood diversion or understood the risk of product diversion. And so back to the Instagram poll, a lot of people selected no, like we don't know what this is. Now I am willing to suspect, because it was a crazy majority of people saying they, know what it, they didn't know what it was. I'm willing to suspect that people may know about this, but maybe they just don't know it's called diversion. That, that may be my thing. Y'all let me know. Do you know about diversion? Did you know about it prior to this video? If you didn't, if you didn't know, now you do know, because we about to find out. So first thing is, what is product diversion? So product diversion occurs when a product is sold somewhere outside of the official retailers that are supposed to sell it. The biggest one that comes to mind to me is Paul Mitchell. Oh girl, am, am I being shady in this video? I'm about to be shady, okay? So anyway, Paul Mitchell gets diverted a whole lot. In fact, they have a FAQ page where someone asks a question about like the official retailers and then they provide some information. So these are the official retailers of Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell Schools, the uh, Paul Mitchell Salons, salons that are authorized to sell Paul Mitchell because Paul Mitchell is a salon brand, guys. It's a professional brand. Um, also, jcpenny.com, ulta.com, and ulta stores. And I'm assuming jcpenny stores as well. I just don't know if they sell it in the store because um, the jcpenny near me don't have a salon. And then amazon.com, but the official Amazon store from them. And I'm going to get onto official Amazon stores in a second. If you see Paul Mitchell anywhere else outside of those places, it is diverted product. It is not supposed to be there. And like I said, a little bit of shade for the day. I have seen Paul Mitchell being sold at Walmart, not in the salon. The salon and Smart Style Salon, uh, Walmart and Smart Style Salon are two separate entities. I've seen it back in the hair products in Walmart. I have seen it sold at Target. I have seen it sold at CVS. I have, think I've seen it at Walgreens, okay? Those places are not authorized, authorized resellers of Paul Mitchell and the product should not be there. If it is there, it is diverted product. Now, you may be wondering, what is the big deal with diverted product? Why do I care about it? Well, you run the risk of several things being true if you purchase diverted product. Now, number one, there could be nothing wrong with it at all. The product could legitimately be the actual product. It's just sold somewhere where it's not supposed to be sold. And number two, the product could be diluted. Okay, if this is the case, then they've added water to the product, um, you know, filled a couple more bottles than what they had, so on and so forth, cut it down. And so the product could be not as effective as what's supposed to be because they put water in there so they can fill more bottles. Speaking of filling bottles, the product number three could be something else entirely, honey. They could just put something else in it and they'd be part charging you the price for that name brand you see on the bottle, but the product in there is something cheaper, like a little filler that they've put in there just to get the coins off of you. Um, this is particularly an issue for people who have um, allergies or sensitivities. And perhaps maybe that product is something they know, like, and trust. They know it's not gonna upset them. They know that they are not gonna get sick from using that, but that's not what's in the bottle. So there could be something in the bottle that could trigger whatever issue that they're having, and they don't even know. They bought something that they thought was okay. Um, and then, of course, the final thing that I'm going to get on is that the product could also be expired. The product could be out of date, but it is still sitting on the shelves. The beauty supply store near me, I know that they got to be doing this because a lot of the products in there have dust on them, honey. If the product has been sitting on the shelf long enough to get dust, come on, it's got to be expired. It has got to be expired. And, you know, hair products don't usually put, like, specific dates on there. They just usually tell you that 12-month thing. So 12 months from opening, the little logo, the jar with 24 or 12 on it, they don't typically put a specific date. There is a way to look up a batch. 
number and find out the specific date of the product. But who gonna do that? Ain't nobody finna do that. So, um, in the beauty supply store, I think that's how they really get away with it. They're like, well, there's no real date on here. But, honey, the parts are dusty. Come on. Um, another issue that kind of stems back to these four things is that if the company does some sort of updating, like perhaps maybe they need to pull a product from the shelves. I think that's what happened with the Olaplex. Didn't they pull it, change the formulation and put it back out or change some packaging information and put it back out? So if a situation like that needs to happen where they need to change the packaging, change the ingredients, change the um, labeling, something like that, they're not going to call up these unauthorized resellers and be like, hey, pull that off the shelf real quick. Or, hey, we discovered we did some research on that and that ain't good for the people. Or, hey, this ingredient is causing our customers problems or we need to reformulate this to make it better. Pull it off the shelf. Put the new stuff out. They're not going to do that because it's an unauthorized retailer. So when you buy things that are diverted, you are risking a couple of things. You know what I mean? At this point, you may be wondering, well, how do I make sure that I'm buying something that's legit? Well... Just like I mentioned that Paul Mitchell has an FAQ page where you can find out like the official retailers. You can do that for pretty much every um, brand. Sometimes they have like salon locator, store locator. Um, they may have an FAQ that lists the um, authorized retailers. So that's the first place I would go is go to their brand's official website. Now, another thing that you can do is you can go to their um, the, the product that you want on Amazon and then click at the top where it has the brand where the brand is supposed to be. Now, some places it'll say brand colon and they don't have the name of the brand afterwards. Those are usually not the legit official retailer. And on Amazon, it is so hard to tell the difference if you don't know these little things. Like you can access unauthorized and authorized retailers right there on the same page with Amazon if, if you're not careful, if you're not playing, if you're not playing the game correctly. Now, um, at the top, if it says that official brand name, click through to that and then see if it, it leads you to an official Amazon landing page. It'll be a page that has pictures from the brand. It, it almost looks like they built it out just like they build out a page on their official website. Um, these brand pages, just off the top of my head of people that I know have an official site, and I will link these in the description box so that you can kind of get a feel for what these pages are supposed to look like. But um, Denman has an official Amazon store. Obia Naturals has an official Amazon store. And then Ecoslay has an official Amazon store. So all of them kind of look a certain way so that you know that you are purchasing from the actual legit people. Um, also, if you like, if you still aren't convinced, it'll usually say like, um, sold by brand name, uh, shipped by Amazon. So like they usually will probably what they're probably doing is sending like a shipment amount of that product to Amazon and then Amazon is selling them back out through the, the website. But it's coming from the official warehouse. So like, for instance, the Obia custard, yeah, it sold out on Amazon. Someone was like, yeah, I can't find it on Amazon because they probably trying to get that Amazon Prime and all them deals and whatever. I don't blame you, child. I don't blame you. But it sold out on Amazon, but it's available on Bia's, web, on Bia's website probably because they need to send another shipment to Amazon so that Amazon has it in stock. But it's coming from Obia. It is like officially the direct product from them. I try to with my links that I provide on my video and I may have missed one or two so I'm not gonna sit here and act, act like I'm perfect. But whenever I link something that is on Amazon, I try to make sure that I'm linking it from the official brand name because I don't want to support diverted product. Now, I'm going to tell you about it, but I'm going to be real and say I don't do it. You can also call these like 1-800 numbers and like a lot of them have numbers where you can like report that you see their products on the shelf somewhere like diverted product. I think Paul Mitchell has a phone number you can call to like re report their products. But like either people are reporting it or it's just not working because y'all know Paul Mitchell is diverted to the gods and back. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> speaking of them, y'all tell me who else is getting diverted? I know it's not just them. Who else y'all see out in these streets being diverted? Okay, I'm gonna let YouTube recommend some other videos of mine that you can check out. Subscribe. I post videos every week and I'll talk to you in the next one.